I'm George Stephanopoulos, and this is Nightline. Tonight, one of the most fascinating figures in popular music. My tambourine is still singing. Tonight, Beck, a musical maverick meets his moment. It's been more than a decade since Beck arrived with Loser, a surreal homemade hit that wrote a hip-hop beat to become a slacker anthem. It could have turned him into a one-hit wonder. Instead, over the course of seven albums and a non-stop chorus of acclaim, Beck has grown into one of the most compelling figures in rock music. And with his talent for collage, he's created a freewheeling mix of rock, hip-hop, traditional musics, and some sounds that usually only come out of video games. Now his latest recording, Wero, finds him stretching further still. Beck is now 34 years old, married, and a new father. On his new album, Wero, he returns to his signature sound of combining electronic loops and beats with acoustic folk blues songwriting. But his lyrics are clearly more autobiographical, often dealing directly with disillusionment and loss. We first caught up with Beck last month at a packed London club on the eve of the new album's release and an open-ended touring schedule and the biggest marketing offensive of his career. From an appearance on Saturday Night Live to a so-called beck episode on the hugely popular nighttime soap, The O.C., scored exclusively with his new music. Wait a sec. To Starbucks. Soy latte, please. Where you can have your Beck to go. Triple Grandish. A guest is Beck. He's got his band with him. He's got a new record. This piling on a vending machine. Toy diamond ring stuck on a finger. And it's paying off. Wero entered the Billboard chart at number two, the highest position of Beck's career. Can you explain the meaning of Wero? Wero is, it means white boy. It's a kind of a slang word. It's something that I would hear growing up, you know, something I'd hear on the street, walking to school, get called Wero. It's just a, it's just a word that always stuck in my head, and I wanted to do something with that at some point. And I think I ended up in the end just kind of doing this um, almost journalistic kind of look at that whole time. The vibrant culture clash of the poor Los Angeles neighborhood where Beck grew up seems to have inspired a love of collage, of mixing and contrasting unlikely combinations. I grew up near MacArthur Park, which is right next to downtown, and I guess it's kind of the old ELA of the 30s and 40s and and but you know by the time I was born it was a little more dilapidated and and a lot of stuff was getting torn down and it was mostly immigrant neighborhood especially at that time you know Salvadorian Guatemalan uh, Mexican uh, there's some Korean and it just kind of uh, a mix of everything <laughs> 